fact that we're a small company in Australia that's part of this international partnership. I feel proud to say that I work on this, this program and we're also feeding into it with new technologies and new ideas. That's really exciting. At Moran, we engineer, manufacture and sustain. The F35 project allows us to do this in a high-tech global environment. We work with our customers like Lockheed Martin to develop a better future for them, for us and for our community. As a tradesman, a challenge is uh, all that is needed. And this program drives everybody. It gives an opportunity to learn, innovate, create and excel. Over the last year, I've seen potential for Australian industry to just branch off in a different direction completely, which is vital to the survival of Australia as a manufacturing nation. It's taking us into a new environment, new products, new systems and new ways of integrating those together. My daughter's name is Aniela and it's a very old Italian name and it means angel. My daughter's view is that once you're out of your pyjamas, it's ice cream o'clock. So any time in the day, uh, it's fair game to ask for ice cream. And I tend to agree with it. She gets excited when I tell her about the fact that we're having a machine brought to Australia that's bigger than our house. There's a lot of bad press about manufacturing in Australia, that it's a dying industry, but I'm quite proud to say to my friends and colleagues that I work on a growth opportunity. When we started the F35 project, I think our export market was about half a percent of the whole business, and now we're at about 40 to 50 percent of our business. We're in an age now where we don't use the old techniques, the old machines. We need to um, keep learning these new methods so we can stay competitive. On top of the game. Australia's got such a great engineering and manufacturing background. The F35 project provides the next generation of students and engineers the opportunity to work in a high-tech, high-class environment. My son Peter, Ferro is able to offer him a position in the production environment whereby his skills are well suited. His future looks a lot brighter because of this type of work. The knowledge I've learned working here and working on some of the most complicated work this country's ever seen. It's very important. It's going to be important in the future to uh, pass that knowledge on. Otherwise, in the future, who's going to run these machines? No one will know. If Australia is really going to compete, we have to be at the forefront of technology. needs to be supported and encouraged and we'll do everything we can to make sure that our deliveries do that. There's not a better feeling than seeing something you've actually produced and see it flying around. It's a challenge, but as far as I'm concerned it's a good challenge and we're going to do it. <laughs>